Okay, so here we go guys. I just wanted to give you a brief update as to uh, how this Cub Cadet 357cc Chinese Honda clone engine um, this carburetor is removed as that's one of the most common things we do here at the shop is, is carburetor rebuilds on these snow blowers or snow blowers in general. So I want to bring you over here and let you know the engineer's um, design flaw or at least in my opinion is a, is a hell of a design flaw. So we're going to bring this in and take note of the carburetor system here. So, I'm hoping that's pretty clearly identifiable that it runs right into the handle assembly. So, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not too satisfied saying this. I've seen this happen in the past where the only way to remove this car body is A, one of two, three things. Back these studs out so you can take the stud out and then allow you access to removing this car body. Enough, remove enough bolts in this handle assembly to allow that to come back far enough to gain the clearance needed to get past the stud here, which you just can't. There's no way. And the other one on the other side here, I don't know if I can get a view of that. It's even worse. It's even further in there and yes I see these linkages are attached but that is not stopping this from coming off of here um, or not the main reason that it's stopping it definitely would but there's a bigger issue ahead of it regardless of these linkages um, they do need to come off though so I understand why the company did it in a sense because most shops don't actually remove the full carburetor in a snowblower uh, from my knowledge I would imagine they just remove the bowl and take out the main nozzle and jet assembly and clear that all out and then they put it back together and most times that'll work. I have found in the past where there's a little plastic um, air, this is the uh, throttle idle adjustment screw that you, you go in and that'll raise the idle, you go out that'll, that'll lower the idle again. But below it more importantly there is an intake or a, a, an idle pilot jet in which I found out the hard way years ago that that can come become clogged or partially clogged and will indicate a symptom uh, similar to a surging surging um, symptom is what it happens. It'll kind of rev up and then die back down and rev back up. It, it just basically to me or most times indicates that that, that idle circuit is partially clogged or fully clogged um, causing that that idle or that lack of fuel to be to be within the engine when needed so that's really all i'm getting into this video is not really going to describe how to clean these carburetors i can do that in another video if desired this is just basically saying you know there is times where you're going to most in most cases find these chinese clone engines in which the carburetor may be secured to the the engine in a fashion that requires you to do in my opinion way more work than ever should be required to remove a carburetor with as common as a fuel related problem is these days or, or is currently at the moment so if i had knowledge as the engineer i would call him and just try to better understand why they did this if it was a space issue or they just simply didn't care but as a mechanic i want to give you some insight as to how this is going to have to happen so you can stop um, or not waste potentially an hour just looking at it puzzled and confused as to why they would have done this because i can just tell you to my knowledge there's really no logical reason other than a lack of caring or lack of space to allow it to come off more efficiently so yep that's the uh, tidbit on what we're doing here today at JMD Small Engine, and I'm going to try to uh, be a little bit more present. So thanks for, uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, and uh, yeah, until the next one, hopefully this helps.